Hi, I would like to talk about uh, the new functionalities of Rhino Nest within Grasshopper. Rhino Nest, the main objective is optimize the position and the orientation of the objects for cutting. Okay, then now we add all the functionality of Rhino Nest inside Grasshopper. Let me show you some files to understand how it works. This first file is extremely easy, but I think it's a very good sample to explain you the concept. We execute Grasshopper. And here, obviously, we have all the tools of Grasshopper, Mesh, Intersect, Xform. And here we have TDM solutions and all the functionality of RhinoNES. Okay, we can directly drag and drop or we can click directly in the submenu. Okay, then let me explain to you the first part of the nesting. We have a control called RhinoNES nesting. Okay, and here we can define all the parameters of the nesting. Okay, uh, we have a lot of options, but just we need to do it a couple of these functionalities. Okay, we don't need to define all the functionalities. But let me let me show you. First of all, we need to define the geometry that we want to nest. Okay, we select multiple objects. We will select these three curves. Okay. Then, the other thing that we can define is the size of the sheet. Okay, to define the sheet, we have three ways. One is select a curve. The second one is select two points or directly by size. Okay, let me drag and drop this and we select one curve as a sheet. Okay, great. Then we connect to sheet. Other parameters. We have the distance items to items, okay? What is the gap that we need between items? The second one is item to sheet, okay? The margin that we want to find here. The sheet, the time in seconds, okay? This is the time that we allow Rhino Nest invest to find the best solution, okay? It's interesting to know that Rhino Nest try to find a lot of solutions and show us the best. Okay, as more time we define, better will be the solution. Okay, then by default is 10 seconds. I recommend you increase that, but now for the demo, I think it's it's enough. Uh, and we have other parameters. Okay, now just we double click to do the nesting. Okay, we have the nesting. As you can see, automatically create the ID. Okay, the ID is a curve, okay, and the result is a curve. This is really good if we want to use a CNC machine or a laser or other cutter machine. Okay, it's a curve. Then, let me explain you other options that we have. We have the freedom, okay. Let me show you this control, object freedom. We connect here, and we can define what is the freedom that we allow to rotate this object? Okay, let me show you. We can fix it 180, okay, 90, 60, okay, or free. We can select free. 90 is okay. Great. Then we double click. Other thing is we can define the criteria of the nesting. Okay, we can drag and drop this control. Okay, and connect here. And we have the option to define the global parameters of the nesting. Okay, let me show you here. Okay, we have minimum X, minimum perimeter, minimum spacer. Okay, minimum loss regions. We have a lot of functionalities. Okay, then we can modify just clicking here. Okay, for example, if we select center and we will select, yeah, free, with double click. Now start to do the nesting from the center. Okay. I think it's really, really easy to, to use. Okay. 
let me explain you the results. The results that we have here is the nesting geometry. We have a lock, okay, to show if the nesting is successful or we have any problem. This is unused objects. It means if we define an object bigger than the sheet, automatically this object obviously cannot be nested and go directly to this list. Okay, then we can, for example, create other nesting with other size of sheets. Okay, then we can say we can do the nesting of all the objects in these sheets. After that, if the objects are bigger than the sheet, we can select and define other sheet. Okay, great. Here we have the sheet results, okay, the geometry of the new sheets. In this case, yes, we have one. In other samples, we will see that we will have more than one. And the IDs, the IDs are the curves, okay, of the numbers. Okay. And that's it. Let me show you other sample. We execute Grasshopper. And we drag and drop the nesting control. In geometry, we select all this geometry and sheet, we connect and we select this sheet. Okay, in this case, Rhino Ness will detect that it's not possible to place all the objects in, in one sheet. For this reason, Rhino Ness will create more than one. Okay, then we double click. And here we have the result, okay? In this case, as you can see, we have the ID. By default, it's one millimeter, okay? But we can modify this text size here, okay? Great. Now, our course, just remember one thing. Now, in Rhino Nest for Grasshopper, we can nest in all the kind of objects. Okay, for example, let me define this sheet. And we can select curves, solid surface, and meshes. Okay, we double click. And here we have the result. Okay, let me show you in the perspective view. Okay. In the case of the 3D models, the ID goes to the maximum of the bounding box of the object. Great. Let me show you other sample. Now in this case, we want to do the nesting of the lamp but the objects are not on the seaplane, okay? Then we need to place correctly in the seaplane. How we can do that? We have a tool, call it Remap. It's exactly the same as in Rhino Nest. We can select the objects, and automatically place the objects on plane, okay? Just analyze what is the bigger flat area to do it, okay? And then we can get these objects and do the nesting directly from the solids. We connect here, we select the sheet, and double click great here we have our nesting obviously we can bake and here we have a remap and a nesting from 3d objects in in, in seconds okay it's really really fast inside Grasshopper. 
I think the most interesting thing is you can create this LAMP, for example, parametrically inside Grasshopper, then you can combine several LAMPs and automatically create a remap and the nesting. Okay. Great. Let me show you other sample. I want to show you the remap, but in this case, okay, in this case we have, I think it's 200, near 200, no, 115 solids, okay. Then we can select this geometry, voila. Now, as you can see, we have the remap of all the objects and then we can use these objects to do the nesting. Okay. Great. Now we have the nesting. We bake it. And voila. Great. Let me show you one sample about a slice. Okay. We have this simple object. Okay. And we want to slice it and create the nesting. Then we execute Grasshopper. New file. And we have a functionality to slice 3D. Then we can select a geometry. We can define the distance between the slice. Then we come to parameters. We get a slider. We can define directly here. Okay. We will edit integers and 50. Okay, then we connect here, and the last thing is to find the direction plane. Okay, then we set one plane, we can click directly here. Okay, and we have the slice. Let me move it to show you. X form, we will move this geometry. In this direction okay okay and as you can see we can modify the thickness okay then we can use remap Okay, and we can create a rectangle to create the sheet, or we will use this other way to create a sheet from two points. Okay, one point, this point, and the second point here. Great. Then we come to nesting. We select the geometry, the sheet, the freedom fixed is okay. Okay, and double click. Okay. Then remember that you can define the ID font size okay and then okay you have all the results with the IDs okay 
also we have other functionalities to create directly a text in simple stroke shape okay we can define a text directly in a, in a geometry let me show you we can create any geometry and define a text the size of the phone 20 okay then also we have the option to define a prefix and a suffix then we can define rhino nest okay and we define project one okay this tool apply the same text to all the geometry okay we can define using an object a 3d object or a curve or okay or we have the same functionality but instead to define a geometry we can define directly using a plane okay then let me show you if we create a curve okay let me delete that we select a curve great then we can use these frames okay we can define the size by the fall is one millimeter i think it's okay in this case or maybe bigger and the text right on nest okay and as you can see okay in this case the text is not flipped is oriented using the frame okay and in this case is a curve and the frame is in this position but if we want we can uh, rotate the frame and, and that's it okay great and the last thing is we can list the objects okay before to do the nesting or for other functionality but we have the option to list okay we select the objects we define the size five okay in this case we do the window okay for that reason we have this numeration but now as you can see is increasing the number okay we can define a, a prefix also okay and a suffix but is increasing the number each time okay well that's all about rhino nest within grasshopper thanks for watching